What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Elder Scrolls Skyrim Special Edition, I might add, uh, gameplay here on the channel. This game is absolutely fantastic. I've said this before multiple times in multiple different videos, even those that don't even have to do with Elder Scrolls. But Elder Scrolls is probably my second favorite franchise of all time, my first being obviously uh, Fallout. So. It's actually very fun and nostalgic in many ways to actually get on this game and continue on with the story. So I'm actually very excited to continue on with this gameplay. If you were to do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so we're in Whiterun and we need to go meet Irileth near the Western Watchtower. So... Hold on, where's the Western Watchtower? How do I get to the map? Okay, X show on map. Okay, looks like they already took off. They're over there by the Western Watchtower. So let's go ahead and fast travel to the White Run Stables. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't fast travel from inside of a building. So let's go ahead and go. For the record too, I am using a controller now. But I'm still playing this game on PC of course. But I don't know, I just feel like this game is so much easier to play with a controller. I don't like the controls for PC. This game, I feel like, was 100% designed for, um, for, you know, consoles and stuff. So, games like that typically just feel better playing with a controller. And, uh, this just basically furthers that whole philosophy. So, I'm definitely gonna go with this way or method of playing, so... Let's go meet Irleth. Hiya! Hiya! There's the Western Watchtower. Let's go ahead and just prep our bow just in case. Where are you at? There you are. Okay, good. Gotta make sure his... I also realized uh, while editing the last episode of the last video, I actually called him a High Elf, but he's not. He's a Bosmer making him a Wood Elf. So... Yeah. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened. If that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out. Look for survivors. Will do. Don't worry, Erleth. You sound stressed, but we, we we got this. Although this freaking tower looks absolutely destroyed. No, in fact, it's still here somewhere. Bucky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Oh no. Hiya! Oh, there he is. Are you guys ready? Let's go! For Narnia. Oh, wait, the wrong, wrong series. <laughs> Where is he at? There he is. Uh, I wait till he slows down a little bit or just stops. Did he land? There he is. Ah, uh, help me! I'm on fire! Well, at least I was. We're destroying him, though. Oh, he's landing again. Way to go, moron. Come on, baby. I don't even know if I'm actually hitting him, but I'll try it anyways. Let's go ahead and go in first person. Oh, ear left with her magic powers. I think he's landing. Sounds like he got brutally hurt. Yep, there he goes. Die! This dragon will get destroyed right now. Oh, finishing blow. Got him. Investigate the dragon. Tracking. Do you have anything on you? I'll take that. I don't want the bones. Ooh, white run guard armor and hat. I'll take those and that. I wish he had a shield, damn it. 
What's going on? Hell yeah! Uh, use shout. Uh, use the shout section in the magic menu to equip uh, your unrelenting force. Okay. Uh, magic, shout, unrelenting force. There we go. Is anyone gonna talk to me? I can't believe it. You are Dragonborn. As a matter of fact, I am. Dragonborn? What exactly do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? What? To show up the dragon's power. Perhaps. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. That was just weird, you know. I killed a dragon, now I can s scream. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? Duh. That can only mean one thing. You must be dragonborn. That's amazing. What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather Let's see if we can find one of those, uh troops or soldiers because i kind of want one of those white run swords i mean not, not swords the white run uh shields excuse me it doesn't appear like there is any though nah dude I, oh wait 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 a minute oh there it is the white run guard shield very nice i'll definitely take that i don't need those though i already have a good bow all right we're good we need to get him uh, some uh, imperial armor, though. Come on, Feindol, we gotta go. Alright, let's go. Oh, we have to... We have to run back there, because we can't actually fast travel to... Hold on. Uh, map. I know we can fast travel at bare minimum to the White Run entrance, but we can't actually go to the keep, with uh, to Dragon Keep or whatever. I never under really understood why. It's kind of weird. All right, let's go. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. Look for who? We will be. Are you feeling sick? No. A woman, a foreigner in these lands, Redguard like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. That's Rorikstead, that's where the guy at the very, very beginning of the game that was in the in the um in the back of the cart when we were about to go get murdered by the Empire. That's where he's from. He's from Rorikstead. Uh why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. That seems pretty freaking shady. But alright, let's go ahead and go back and talk to, uh... To Balgruff the Greater. A.K.A. the Jarl of Whiterun. Ooh, you're pretty. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Okay. So you're looking to become a merchant? Exact, uh, is that exactly right? Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madran. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Okay, maybe I can help you. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? I mean, I'll see what I could do. You mentioned the trading caravans, though? Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Why is that? Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. 
A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Yep, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, what do you know of the Khajiit, anyways? About the same as everyone else. They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see what I can do. What's her name? Yasolda? Yes. You killed the dragon. Yes, I did. I Thank you for recognizing. Shut up, Yasolda. Let's go get this shrine of Talos so that we can get healed of everything. Yo, Bogruf! You gotta tell you something, homeboy. I might be this magical thing called a dragonborn. Something like that. I don't know. Your troops are crazy, bruh. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. You heard okay. the summons. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Oh, he was there alright. Uh... The watchtower was actually destroyed, but we managed to kill the dragonborn. I knew I could count on Irelet. Must be more to it than that. Uh, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Ooh, that sounds cool. Heads. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries. East. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? <laughs> Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar. Don't be so hard on Avenuchi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. There you go, Jarl. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? No, I didn't. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down there. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Yay! I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No, not really. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Alright, uh, looks like we're good on that end. He gave us the Axe of Whiterun, it looks like. Ooh, what is that, a two-handed sword? Burns the target for five points. Uh, targets take extra fire damage. Is that a unique? 
enchantment? I don't think so. Yes, my lord. But it's cool nonetheless. All right, where am I supposed to go now to speak to the Greybeards? Let's see where that's at in the map. Oh, that's all the way around this mountain. So High Hrothgar's right here, but we have to go through Iberstead. Uh, I think we're going to have to come back to that some other time. So for now, let's go ahead. Wait, hold on. Let's go over here. There we go. All right, we'll take that off for now. Let's see what we could do about this uh, Red Guard woman. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Oh, thank you. I'm a Thane? What exactly does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. Well, I'm glad. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. The guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Ooh. What does a house Carl do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Very nice. All right. Nah, I don't think I want her. I do like uh, Feindel, even though he kind of gets in my way a lot. Wait, how much? How much money do I have? Items. Thousand three hundred. Let's go see the local shop and see if we can sell some things. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. We need to get five thousand caps. Or I keep saying caps, but I need to get five thousand coins. So that I can buy a house here in the city. So let's go ahead and do that before we actually look for this Red Guard woman. Bellator is his name. Bellator! Let me know if I see anything you like. Nope. I see I you. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Well, that's fucked up. <laughs> hey, how's business, bro? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every scepter. So what brings a Breton to Skyrim? Isn't it obvious? By the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Yeah, Not okay. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. You're a dick. What do you have for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. You don't say. I kind of want to see what he's got for sale, though. Okay, so he's got backpacks, which probably would come in handy, as a matter of fact. Probably, probably not right now, though. I don't really need a backpack right now. All right. Now, he doesn't look like he's got anything fantastic to sell me. Hunter? Ooh, bows do 10% more damage. That actually sounds interesting, to say the least. But now it doesn't look like he's got actually anything worth a while. Wait, where's that other one? There it is. Uh, mage increases your magic up by 20 points. Ooh, that looks cool. That's got to be one of the creation club things, so all this stuff, actually. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like he's got anything spectacular. So let's go ahead and see if we can sell him anything good. All right, we'll sell you that. I'm definitely keeping that. You can have these two. You can have that. Actually, you can have that. I don't need that no more. All of this. I'm literally just going to sell everything I can, dude. Eh, maybe not those. I'm not doing any enchanting anytime soon. I'm definitely not going to need magic since I'm a bow user. Um, 
sell these things. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm not much of a crafter. I'm keeping that. Okay. Alright, so we're just shy of 2,000 caps. Do come back. We have a long way to go before we can actually purchase a house. We still have to make 3,000 caps. Hold on, let's see if we can turn on subtitles. Settings. It's probably under uh, display. Dialogue subtitles, there we go. Hmm? Alright, let's go in here. Perhaps we can talk to the innkeeper. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere? Ah, I'm stuck. If it's work you need, Hold up. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been um, thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Oh, got a bounty. Okay, cool. Heard any rumors lately? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Danica, you say? Have Heard you any more that rumors? Shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay, let's see if we can People get some more. Say there is someone in Riften that can change your face. Yes. You look completely different. Do you believe that? Nope. <laughs> Give me the latest gossip. The companions in Yorvasku? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Was that a... Is that a Red Guard woman? Where can I learn more about... The week. Magic. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Sparingar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Alright. Need anything else? This is a Redguard yeah. woman. Hmm. Sadia. Hi there. So what's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Ooh, she's a vendor. She sells food. She can definitely come in handy. And I can sell her things too. Uh, did you know some Alakir warriors are looking for a Red Guard woman? Are you sure? Yup. Oh no. They found me? And I found I you. Your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Will do. Come with me. When he met the shield maiden Matilda who said. I love that song. Get out of her way! My God, Vandal! I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. These guys are all drunkies. Look at them. Where are we going, Sadia? Or Sadie? I don't even know your name. So you're taking me to your bedroom, huh? Uh, Fendo, you might want to stay here, bro. Sounds like I got some business to take care of. With this lovely, beautiful young lady. So, are you working with them? Oh! You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. First of all... You need something? Tell me what's going on so before I Alex snipe you. Know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. 27 plus tax. Uh, relax. I'm not going to hurt you. Then I need your help. And there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. Uh, maybe. What do you want? I am not the person that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. And how am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him and the rest will scatter. 
I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. Uh, any suggestions as to where I find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Uh, why haven't you gone to the guards for help? You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Um, okay, so why are they Alakir? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Huh. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. It sounds... It sounds like she might be the right one. I don't know. This one's kind of confusing. Because the Alakir didn't really give me anything to go off of. So right now, I only have her story to believe. It's pretty one-sided so far. So for now, let's go ahead and... Go in this direction so that we can visit the, pr the town prison or whatever, pretty much. Um, around the back, I guess? It's gotta be. This guy came from back here. Get out of my way, guy. Don't worry about it. We found it. Alright, let's see. You, talk to me. Watch the skies, traveler. You, talk to me. Alright, I guess we got the Alec here. You talk to me. What are you looking at? I need to find Kamatu. Where is he hiding? You have a death wish then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. And what is it that you need? I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. And so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Uh, how much to pay for your fine? 100 gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? Yes, but I, I don't want to pay it. I hope you can, if you want the information. Damn it! Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Why do they leave you here anyways? Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says... We're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. I suppose. Well. Alright, guard. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. Yes, that's, a, that's how it works. Alright, so I want to pay for that prisoner's fine. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. You owe me, guy. Get over here. Um... Hello, come on over here. All uh, right, so let's talk about how we can help each other. You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. I already did. Your fine's been paid. Now tell me uh, about Kamatu. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. They seem, they seem like assholes. Hey. All right, let's go. He said west or east? Let's see. Hold on. Uh, Swindler's Cave. Holy shit, that's far. All right, well, let's go ahead and go. Okay, we can actually fast travel. So let's go to the furthest in that direction we've been to. So that's the Western Watchtower. Let's go over there. And we're basically just going to have to huff it all the way over there. Give us an opportunity. Oh, look, there goes that little dragon that we destroyed. So, at least uh, we'll get a opportunity to at least glance at some of the, you know, architecture and, you know, mountain lines and everything. Oh, we got a mammoth thing over there. 
But I'm not interested in doing that right now because the Giants would destroy me. So, you sold her or whatever the hell her name was. She's going to have to wait for that. Oh god, what is this place? Those are probably bandits. I mean, I suppose I'll discover it for now, but I'll just run right past it. What was that? Oh god, we got some wolves. Oh no, I don't remember how to go into sneak mode. No! Good job. Hold on, how the hell do I go into sneak? I don't even remember. I'm literally just pushing buttons at this point. Because this is that. Oh, okay, I got it. We got another mammoth here. Question is... Is there a giant around? I don't see a giant. So that means... Bro, you're screwed. I'm sorry, but... Get out of my way! Oh god, I'm done. Come on, help me! I don't know if I have the ammo for this. Is Feindall dead? Ah, uh, he's still alive. He's just down. Run! Come here! Don't run away! Faindal, you better, your aim better be true. I hope I get most of these uh, arrows back, because I'm going to need them. Woo! We're on a roll here. Luckily, we found this guy that's all alone. Got him right in the booty hole. Get over here. Last shot. Did he die? He died. Yay. All right, let's go level up real quick. Um, We'll go with stamina. Alright, uh, do we have a point available in archery? Yes, we do. Woohoo! Now we do 40% more damage with our bow. Ooh, a horse. Can I take that horse? I'll take all of this stuff. You know what? Fuck it. Screw it. That's a nice looking horse, too. Ooh, got me a nice little horse. That actually comes in handy. Hold on. Ah, run! Feindall, take care of my lightweight. I just wanted to discover this place. Oh, this is that one tree. That's a pretty beautiful looking tree, to be honest. But we're not interested in that right now, alright? Right now, we got somewhere to be. Oh, look, there's another giant right there with his uh, mammoth. It's kind of weird, though, because that other mammoth that we just killed didn't have uh, a giant associated with him. Alrighty. Looks like we're actually almost here. This actually worked out for the best, if you ask me. Oh god. Ready to die? Ah! 
Dunskies. Oh, that was actually a really cool animation. Horse, you better not leave me. All right, take definitely take that. My horse is leaving me. Damn it! Screw it. All right, let's go into sneak mode. Looks like we're gonna get into some deep, deep sack of potatoes, aka shit, down here. So do you. Woo, that aim. Fandle, get the hell out of my way. My god, bro. You're so annoying. Ooh, an amethyst. I'll take that too. I can always sell it. Hunting bow. No, I'll take that lockpick though. Arrows. Very nice. Hold on, there's a... A chest up here. More gold. Ooh, I can disenchant that. A hunting bow. I'll take the arrows, though. Oh, look at that. No, come back here, please. Oh, no, they found me. Ah! Die, damn it! Oh, my God. Stop moving. Oops. Will you stop moving? It'll be a lot faster if you just die. See? That wasn't so hard, was it? Alright, let's see if we can take some arrows from this lady. Yeah, just, uh... Some iron arrows, but it's better than nothing. Oh, hello. Ah! Got him. <laughs> I bet you they're all gonna come now. So let's get prepared. Come on. Man, your freaking magic ain't gonna do shit towards an arrow, bro. Nice try. Uh, I could definitely sell that. Oh, there's still another guy coming. Another fellow archer. Leave me alone. Is he bug? I mean, sure, why not? I'll gladly just pop you with all these. Dude, they're giving me all kinds of coin. Definitely need the coin. Do you have money? You do. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Silver, necklace... Bunch of coins. That purse had 21 coins. I guess now that we know that there's uh, coins just sitting there, we should probably keep an eye out for some more. Ooh, Imperial Bow. This is better than mine. So I'll equip it and sell mine. Hell yeah. We got a better bow just in time. For the fight of the century. Nothing over here? Thief. Oh, we already got that book in uh, one of the previous locations. Any amethysts or anything? No, it doesn't look like it. So long. And silent area. Oh yeah, this is the top floor of the place we killed all those people. Woohoo! You know what I saw at the last minute? This right here. 
Bam! You ain't gonna get me with a trap, homeboy. Every time for playing the Fallout series for so long, every time I come here, you've proven your strength, warrior. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Yes, we do. Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here, and you have proven your skill in combat. Let us talk a moment, and no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapons. Um, why are you after Sadia? She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanit could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. Wow, this is definitely a different perspective. I've been sent here to kill you. Of course, said by. What is it that she's calling herself these days? Shazra? Sadia? One of those, correct? Did she appeal to your sense of honor? Your greed? A more base theme, perhaps. It doesn't matter. He's talking about sex. She convinced you that she's the victim. But do you know why we pursue her? Uh, Sadie told me you're assassins. Assassins? No, nothing so crass. Sadia, as you know her, is wanted by the noble houses of Tanith for treason. We were hired to see her return to Hammerfell for her crimes. You can help us with that. And make sure no one else gets hurt. So what do you want me to do? Hold on, what was her crime? She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. I, I believe them. Against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. Uh, so what do you want me to do? She trusts you, at least to some extent. She sent you after us, and has no reason to think that you'd do anything other than that. Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside Whiterun. We'll be waiting to take her into custody. I'll gladly share a portion of the bounty in return for your efforts in seeing proper justice done. Man, this is difficult. She sounded pretty convincing too, but their story makes a makes logical sense, dude. If they were assassins, they wouldn't have infiltrated the the uh the the hold of white run so all nonchalant and stuff you know what i mean basic asking questions and bringing attention to themselves if they were assassins they would do it all low key so unless they're very useless at their job i don't know i think these guys might be the right ones and i think she might be lying after all she didn't even know why they were after him but that kind of sounds like an excuse in retrospect i don't know i think i'm gonna decide with them all right, I'll do it. Good. We'll be waiting for you at the stables. It will be good to finally be able to return home. All right. First things first. Is there... Holy crap, there's a lot of them. We would have definitely had a hard time here. Search chest. Flood. Varala stone. Don't mind if I do. 56 gold. Definitely don't mind if I do. Staff of Fury? I'll take it. Screw it. I'll take that to sell. God damn, look at all these people, dude. It's crazy. Alright, let's go. Feel bad for doing this, but... And especially if she was the one that was right. I don't know, but this one's kind of difficult. I don't know what the truth is. So we're just gonna... Risk it for the biscuit. All right, let's go. To Skyrim. There's a cave here. Yes, oh. dumbass, we just left there. Where's my horse? My horse abandoned me. What a traitor. 
All right, let's go ahead and fast travel to... Well, I want to fast travel to the stables and see if my horse would come over here. Realistically, I don't think it will. I think I've lost my horsey. No? No horse? That's not my horse, is it? Nope. Alright. Let's go, Fandola. I guess we don't have uh we don't have a horse anymore. So sad. Alright, there we go. My Imperial bow look uh, Imperial bow looks amazing next or like with my Imperial uniform. What's up, troop? Man, I freaking love this game, dude. It's such a beautiful game and the music is so calming and relaxing. And the stories are so complex at times. Like this one, for example, where you basically don't know who the right one is or who the wrong one is. Is this the courier? I work nope. for Bella. Shut up, Singrid. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Yeah, you. All right, well, here goes nothing. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar. This guy makes me laugh. He likes to like sing and get drunk. All right, let's go. Sadie, I got to talk to you. There is. I was unable to defeat them all. They're coming for you. What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. They found a way in. We need to get you out of here. But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. Uh, there's a horse waiting at the stables. I'll make sure you're safe. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? If you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. Oh, God. Get out of her way, Feindal. OMG. You're a maniac, bro. I gotta see this. I'm gonna know who was right and who was wrong the second the Alakir betray her or pick her up or whatever. Because if they flat out kill her, we know they were the wrong ones. But if they do like a spell or or paralyze her or something, or just flat out just arrest her, then they're most like, well, they actually should be right because she would have lied at that point. By saying they were assassins. So let's go ahead and follow her until the whole situation is rectified. You better not be lying, homegirl. Somehow I, I do feel like you are though. I wanted to be on your side. Let's see if I chose the right side. Hurry up, lady. Well, we're by the stables now, so whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen now. We meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? What have you done? Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever. Your luck had to run out sometime. Oh, he paralyzed her. Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. She won't be harmed? Not on the way back. Once she gets there, it's not up to me to decide what's done with her. And as for you... I owe you a portion of the reward, don't I? Well, here you go. Spend it wisely, and if I may, don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. You're better than that. I mean, I'm here. Ooh, 500 gold. Farewell. <laughs> oh, you tried. 
How much? How many? How much money do I have now? Twenty five hundred. All right, let's go ahead and go back to uh, Beldor and see if we can sell him a few other things, and hopefully we'll get three thousand caps. Three thousand? Yeah, three thousand cap. Uh, I keep saying caps. Oh my God. I play Fallout too much. Three thousand coins or gold. And then that way we were just literally 2,000 uh, gold away from finally purchasing Bree's home. Or we can save up 7,500, but that'll take significantly much more time. See, this is Bree's home right here. I work for Bellator at the General Goods Store. Do you have to say that every time I pass by you? All right, let's go. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. There. Everything's for sale. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right. I don't even think I have that much stuff to sell. Oh, I got two amethysts. But then he only has 81 more gold after this, so... Ancient Nord Bow. Hold on real quick. Uh, Pure Bow does 14 and the Ancient Nord Bow does 13. So yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, I'll sell some cooked beef both of these circlets Keeping that only because I don't know what it's for uh, I'll sell the mammoth tusk or no. I need a tusk actually don't I Nord mead Definitely the magic uh, silver necklace. Oh, he only has three more Crap All right. Well, I mean we sold the majority of things while we're here. Let's go ahead and talk to uh I believe her name is Yzolda. There she is. You. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. You said that already. Here's your mammoth Thank tusk. You. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. So first of all. Didn't you want to buy the bannered mare? And now you want to be a caravanner? Make up your mind, lady. All right, let's go back to the uh, the keep and actually uh, disenchant one of the weapons because that weapon uh, is kind of heavy and takes up my inventory space. So I'm definitely going to disenchant it while I have a chance. And then that way we get to uh, learn a new spell. All right, here we go. Oh, this is the uh, captain, isn't it? The commander, Chaos. I'd like you to have this as a token of my friendship. Ooh, Another thank you. I didn't know he gives me money. Oh, I'm definitely not doing that. Oh, these are both the same. Perfect. Hell yeah, now I don't have to worry about disenchanting this on accident. Very nice. Alright. While everyone's arguing, we're definitely going to call it a video right here, right now. We're definitely approaching that one hour mark pretty fast and shortly, actually. And it's actually blew me away because this video, or like this whole hour of gameplay, kind of felt like it went by really fast. That just shows you how much I'm enjoying this gameplay because it's actually going by really fast, in my opinion. But... If you're enjoying this series, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. And with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.